So what I usually do when I'm making my yogurt cheese balls is I use a really tiny um, ice cream scoop and I portion out my sizes. I am videotaping with one hand so I don't usually do it exactly like this. But you get the idea. I portion out my sizes with the scoop and then I roll it up with my hand. See, just like that. I just rolled them with my hand and there are three lovely little cheese balls, yogurt cheese balls. Now sometimes the cheese is a little bit too moist to roll by hand and that's okay too. You can just leave it in the scoops and put it in the oil and it's just a little softer. Personally for me, I like it a little bit drier because it lasts longer and it's more substantial and it's less messy. So that's the, the rolling in the ball step for the yogurt cheese balls. Okay, I finished rolling all of the yogurt cheese balls that I had in that little bit of yogurt cheese that was remaining and I put it in a bowl that was filled with the spices and a little bit of oil. So now what I do to get the spices on the yogurt cheese is I, is I toss them from bowl, from bowl to bowl, back and forth a few times. Now I'm going to try to do this holding the flip video in my hand because fortunately I don't have a cameraman. That's what happens when you become famous. You get a cameraman. I don't want to be that famous. So there's one flip and there's the other. And would you believe me if I told you it's much easier when you have two hands? Because it is. And then I'm going to do it again. And I think you get the idea. Look at those luscious, lovely herbs. I put oregano, basil, fennel seed, cumin seed, cumin, uh, um, caraway seed, garlic, and hot pepper flakes. I don't think I've forgotten anything. It's all written down, but I love that combination. And look at that. Aren't they getting to be absolutely covered with the lovely herbs? And I just keep doing it a couple more times and shake it around. And I like them actually at least an hour marinating like this before I serve them. They're probably really good right now. And I try to take off as much oil as I can before I serve them because that's really not appealing to people and it isn't really as nutritious with all of the oil, even though it's totally 100% extra virgin olive oil as it is without the oil. I'll just keep doing this now.